This is Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. It's in San Luis Obispo. We are joined by Chris Unger. He is the president-elect of the California School Boards Association, a trustee with San Luis Coastal Unified School District. I'd like to speak with you with the recent results mm. issued for standardized testing yes. of K-12 mm -hmm. students, known now as the California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress. The headlines are clear. Uh, California students didn't do so, so well. They did not do so well, and, and I think we were predicting that. Remember one of the things we talked about, and we've talked about before, mm -hmm. that we, we want to make sure people understand is, you can't fairly compare the old CST with the new Smarter Balance. Remember, and, and one of the ways I think I've explained that to people in the past is it's like comparing apples to meatballs. They're both food, but right. they don't, they're so now, completely. Now, I hear you, I hear yeah. you, however, when you look at the standard mm -hmm. that was being considered, you either exceed meet, nearly yep. meet, or do not mm -hmm. meet. In math, only one third yeah. of students met the standard. In English, 44%. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know we're comparing mm -hmm. apples in Afghanistan, yep. but still, <laughs> right. I mean, one yeah. third and, and, in and, math? And I don't think there's any educator in California that would say these are the results we want to get, period. What we, you know, what we can talk about is, sure, we, the, the, the tests are different, the standards are different, but the fact is, the Smarter Balanced Assessment, which is the new assessment, we've talked about that, the right. adapted test, um, based on the new Common Core curriculum and Common Core standards, has a lot deeper expectations for kids. Okay. And, and what this is telling us is, kids are not as college and career ready as they need to be because the whole idea behind the Smarter Balance, the whole idea behind Common Core is that kids need to be ready for college and career. Look, one could say this is the baseline and we can right. move, move forward. Mm -hmm. But then when you dig deeper, sir, mm -hmm. and you look at some of the communities of yep. color, the statistics are chilling. In terms of math, African Americans mm -hmm. met standards 18%, mm -hmm. Latinos, 21% economically disadvantaged 21% right and 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 though we know those are terrible figures mm -hmm. this is the achievement gap personified Brad yeah and let's talk about achievement and, gap and if, if, can I count you off absolutely. for a second because looking at math Asian Americans they met standards mm -hmm. at 69% right. i mean that is 40% swing Anglo-Americans, 49%. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, at some level, I'm rendered speechless, which is rare, but I, 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 don't know, I don't know where we as parents go with this. Well, I think the first thing we need to understand is that we need to give the Common Core a chance. And, yeah. and, every, and every school in California should be implementing it. You know, California is one of the few places where there hasn't been a lot of controversy there about it. There has not been. What we realize and what I've been seeing when I've been going into classrooms is this tremendous shift in the expectations and the learning and teaching that's going on. That's in my school district. I that needs ask. to be happening everywhere in California. Thinking about the math, though, I think one of the most interesting things about the math, and you mentioned that, is the shift from calculation to concepts. The old CST, the old fill in the bubble test, which everybody hated because mm -hmm. you memorized those answers, right? Mm -hmm. So pick one of four, maybe you, you, know, you got a quarter chance mm -hmm. of getting it right, has changed to now you better have different ways of explaining it and you'd also better be able to read it and understand it because these are all word problems now so we know that language has become tremendously important in this test and those are things that schools have to be focused I on. I want to juxtapose these results mm -hmm. with results of advanced placement exams. Okay. As you may or may not know the advanced placement test given to high school students mm -hmm. seeking college credit in California our students take it at a much higher rate mm -hmm. Uh, than the rest of the nation, especially students of color, and our pass rates are much better mm -hmm. than the rest of the nation. When you look at African Americans nationwide, 32% uh, are passing at least one AP. In California, 43% mm -hmm. 
-hmm. are passing at least one AP. For Latinos, 50% are passing at least one AP, 53% in California. That's great. Whites, Anglo, 66% nationwide pass rate, 73% in California. So mm -hmm. it, what, what's happening here? Well, it I seems think like the, a big contradiction. But I think, I think you've brought up some good news actually, Brad, and the mm -hmm. good news is that children of color are getting into those AP classes and are taking those AP classes and are getting those kind of rigorous, the rigorous instruction that we expect to happen. College courses, that's what AP courses are. And that they're passing with a three or better because it's a five point scale. Of if you don't pass with a three or better, you don't get college credit for it. So I think that's great. One of the interesting things though is this is a different test. Right. And, and let me ask you. And, and, and I think one of the, the things that people should remember about AP courses is it does take a test that I think I would, now I've never taken it, I need to be, tell you that, mm -hmm. but I think it reflects more of the old style and testing. Right. I was ask you and, and again, what we're expecting for our students now is this conceptual competence. Interesting fact that CSUs are moving toward the 11th grade Smarter Balance Test as a test of college readiness. Hmm. And what my understanding is the plan is to use the results of that test to determine whether students are college ready as opposed to a separate test which is happening right now. And depending that separate on- separate test being the SAT or the ACT? No, 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 no. There is a college readiness test that the CSUs give and it helps oh, determine oh, whether a student needs to be in a remedial oh, class see, when they get there or not. Mm -hmm. The plan is to start using the 11th grade results of the Smarter Balanced Assessment as a college readiness I'm test. wondering if you know if the results for 11th grade, let's say, mm -hmm. is it 11th, 3rd, and 8th? Is that what uh, you're looking at? Sure. I mean, Sorry. were the results reflective of what we described? Meaning, were the disparities as great at all grade levels? As far as I know, the disparities were great in all levels, yeah. And, 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 and this is, again, disturbing to all mm. school board members. When we look at this, we know that issues of poverty are still important. Right. Issues of language development are still important. Teachers need professional development. We need money for curriculum. What we need money for technology. San Luis Coastal. How did San your Luis district, Coastal district did? did better. Really? We did better. So we had in our, in our math scores about 50% of our students, of our total student population, was met standard or close to meeting, or, 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 or had exceeded, exceeded standard. Our, our, our English, English language arts scores were about 59%. Now, San Luis Coastal is a district that I think in some levels a microcosm of our mm -hmm. state. It's, you got all economic right. varieties. Right, we're, we're well over 30% poverty in our district. Mm. Um, one of the things that we did is we started looking at Common Core and started implementing the Common Core about three years ago. Mm -hmm. So our teachers have had time to use it. And I, as a school board member, fortunately, am able to go into classrooms and watch teachers teach. And there is some phenomenal teaching going on both in math and English language arts. So when I go into these classrooms, I was in a classroom yesterday where they were kids were talking about, it was essentially geometry, mm -hmm. comparing the sides of rectangles using number charts to say what the difference between the sides is, but not just the standard subtraction, but going, we could do it this way, or we could do it this way, that, or we could but, do it but this that, way. Can that be confusing? You know, I suppose to some it could be confusing, but the fact is the kids are with it. And the kids are saying, oh, there are different ways that we can solve these problems because we're thinking about this differently. And that's the exciting stuff, Brad. Hmm. His name is Chris Unger. He is a member of the San Luis Coastal Unified School Board. He is going to be the president of the California School Boards Association in December. In December. Of 2015. Yep. We wish you the very best of luck Thank on that Brad. new assignment. My name is Brad Palmer. So we're in San Luis Obispo today. This is Charter Local Edition.